It says, Hikko mamittakin vi kullo muhammadin zehdudi vi zehrei bainat Yerushalayim. Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16. The word Muhammadim is Muhammadim. Okay, so uh, Ahmad did that, peace of Christ to all of you. Ahmad did that, he just found you, that in your Bible you have the word Muhammadim. So, what the word Muhammadim have to do with your Muhammad? First, Muhammadim is totally different written way. Second, have totally different meaning. Three, is your prophet name even is Muhammad? <laughs> Let us see. This is Islam online in the front of your eyes, and especially for Muslims, as you see. It says, and this is by study by a doctor, his name Hisham Jayat from Tunisia, proving that the real name of Muhammad never been Muhammad. His real name is Qatham, which means the damaged food, the poison. Something if you swallow, you die. This is his real name. So Muhammad, he changed his name after he claimed to be prophet, and you will see that it is says that in there too. After he became 30, he changed his name. Not before, so all his life was living under the name Qatham. So even the name of their prophet is not Muhammad, it is Qatham. If we take the link, and I will post it next to my video, to Google Translation, you copy the link in the page and you post it, and you choose translated from Arabic to English, you will see the following. Tunisian researchers claimed the real name of Muhammad Qatham, and this is a filthy name. And this is where in Islam online. And you will see, he's saying too, as I'm saying, that he did change his name after he reached the age of 30 and after he claimed to be prophet. So even if you are trying to prove to me that that word is exists there, this is not the real name of Muhammad. Number two, according to the Quran, what is the name of Muhammad? You know, this, this, this Muhammad, his name doesn't match at all. You know, sometimes his name is Muhammad, sometimes his name is Ahmad. As you see, this is chapter 61, verse number 6. You can, there's a huge difference between Ahmad and Muhammad. If you ask Muslims, okay, why his name in here is Ahmad, not Muhammad? They will say, well, it have the same meaning. So what is important, it is the meaning, it's not the name. Which means it's not the name. This is not a name. This is a word meaning the one people they say he is good appraisal they thank his morality imagine Muhammad he have morality so this is not a name and Muhammad never have that name ever because if his name is Muhammad that's it the Quran should say according to this verse supposedly in here the Messiah is talking saying there is a prophet will come to after me and his name is Ahmad okay his name is Ahmad or Muhammad they are not the same. Names, if you change one letter, you change the whole thing. Na name is a name. And remember, in here we are not talking about a translation. It is not a translation. What does that mean? I can go to different country and my Arabic name will be translated to different language and will be something else. If you translate the meaning of my name, but if we are talking about the name, this is not a translation as you see, this is in Arabic, and here it says Ahmed. And Ahmed, look at it, does it sound the same as Muhammad? This is huge different, there's many letters is missing. So it's just a title. Now let us continue with that because I want you to listen to me carefully because we will laugh together at this man who claimed that he knew his Quran and he knew his the Bible. And you will see from his mouth he agreed that Jesus Christ is the God of Muhammad. Listen carefully. Where it says, nevertheless I tell you the truth, Jesus says. 
it is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I go, I will send him. And when he is come, he will convict the world in respect of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Of sin because they believe not in me and on and on. He says, if I don't go, the Comforter will not come unto you. We say that Comforter is Muhammad. Did you hear it? He just agreed that Jesus Christ is the God of Muhammad. Anybody know why? Anyone? Simply because he said, Jesus said he will send him. And who sent the prophets except God? Muhammad will be the messenger of the Messiah. Who is higher, the messenger or the one who sent the messenger? The Muslims accept in here by their ignorance, just looking for an evidence. Maybe, maybe, maybe we can make Muhammad a prophet in any way. But by being ignorant, they just prove that the Messiah is Lord. And the funny, if you read that verse in there, the one he's talking in John, you will see that this verse is talking about a spirit. The one, the Messiah he will send is a spirit, it is not a man. You see how they play with the words? I will play the video again and then we will show the, we, 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 we will, we will see the, the verse together and read it. Plural of respect in Hebrew, in the Gospel of St. John chapter 16, where it says, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, Jesus says. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I go, I will send him. I will send him. The Muslims accepted that Muhammad is a servant of the Messiah. He is serving his Lord. And the one who sent him is the Lord. Who is, one, who is the one who have the authority and the power? The one who sent? Or the one he will be sent by that one. Now let us read the verse together and laugh at the Muslims believe. With my respect to everybody, I'm not making fun of anyone. I'm saying at their belief because it's funny, stupid, and at their ignorant. Because as you see, they, re they rejected Jesus. They tried to make Muhammad a prophet by ba but by making him a prophet. By playing game, they accepted the Messiah is Lord and God. Let us read the verse. This is the chapter in front of us. And you will see in here something very important. That the Messiah, he will send the Comforter, which is a spirit, to do what? To prove to the people that who is the Messiah. And he, when he come, he will repro reprove the word of sin and righteousness and of judgment. Of sin because they believe not on me. So if Muhammad he is the converter, his mission have to do one job. To make people believe in the Messiah as Lord. But Muhammad did the opposite. He is fighting his churches, he is destroying it, he is killing his people, he is raping his, the, the women who, who believe in Jesus. He is torturing the Christians and he did dis disrespect the Bible. So how he can be Muhammad? In the same time, if, if, if Ahmad did that was a man, he should read the whole thing. Because if, as long as you are willing to read this one, why you don't read? that the Comforter, he is going to make people, to come to make people believe on him, the Messiah, which means he's God. If the Messiah is just a prophet, we should not believe in him anyway. We don't believe in a man, we should believe in God. Any message, any prophet, he tell us words about God, he is not telling us to believe on him. To, it's to, to believe in what he is saying about God, which means to believe in God, not in him. And here it says to believe, the sin was because they did not believe on me. Why? Because he's God, he's Lord. And if we continue, it says, when he, 
the spirit of the truth is come the spirit of the truth is Muhammad a spirit do you Muslims have a brain no you don't follow with me with the coming video Christ is Lord Islam made by dummy and the scholars of Islam are a bunch of dummy and they just agreed that the Messiah he will send Muhammad which means Muhammad he is the servant of the Messiah he will be maybe 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 wishing to get close 